Hey everybody, Nick here, and I got a review for you today of another Grail flashlight for many flashlight guys, and that's this little guy here, the HDS Systems EDC Rotary Light. This is a single CR123 light, much like its brother that I already reviewed, the EDC Executive. Um, and uh, just to give you a little bit of a size comparison here, see, CR123. Uh, just to give you a size comparison here, we have, just a second here, uh, your EGTAC D25A, your EDC uh, non-rotary. You have an Olight S1 right here. This is a Zebra Light SC62 and a Sunway Man Thunder Hammer. I just love saying that word. Oh, and the Spyderco Delta, of course, for tradition. So there's your size of it. I'd like to thank my buddy Jim for sending this along. It's a really great light, and I never would have gotten to handle one otherwise, so thank you very much, Jim. And let's go ahead and jump into the good, the bad, and the ugly, and apologies for keeping this end up so much, but uh, there's no way in heck this is staying on my table. Okay, first and foremost, this has the best interface for any light ever, because it works very straightforwardly. You click the back to turn it on, and then you twist the back cap here, and it gets brighter. If you want to dim it, you twist the cap the other way. On either side, it's stopped by this little screw here. And so it's just beautiful because you can go evenly from 250 lumens to 0.02 lumens and at every step in between. It gives you 24 steps and they're all pretty evenly spaced to the eye. And that's no small feat, by the way because the, the light, our eyes don't pick up changes in lumens uh, linearly. I believe it's logarithmic. So that means that they just need to be very careful about how they arrange those so they actually look evenly spaced to our weird little eyes. Um, and it's just beautiful in every damn way, because if it's really dark out and you don't want to blow your night vision, you make sure that it's turned to the low end before you turn it on, and then slowly dial it up. If you know that you're going to need full brightness quickly, you just turn it all the way to the high end, and then when you turn it on, bam, full brightness. Stella, Stella, Stella. Just love it. And it goes from moonlight, which is, you know, very useful in the dark for your, your mole people in your life. Why do I keep talking about mole people? Maybe I've got past life or something. I don't know. Um, to something that's plenty bright outdoors, absolutely workable outside. Um, it's not a searchlight, but nothing is. So the interface is just stellar, and it's also very intuitive. Um, I never once have had the one, okay, how do I get the medium on this? You turn the thing on and you twist the damn ring until it's light enough. Nice. Um, and, you know, even people who are not flashlight nerds can figure out the brightness control on this pretty straightforwardly. My fiance is a pretty normal person, all told, at least in her own ways, and uh, she's not a flashlight nerd, and this made perfect sense to her. So that's great. Second thing is that the battery life is good. Two hours on your highest, five days on your lowest. But because it's a rotary, if you're in a situation where you, you need some light, if you turn it on to low and then dial it up until you got enough light, chances are you're not going to be on high or on medium. You're going to be someplace in between, and usually someplace a little lower than you would have been on a light with four modes. And that's beautiful because you're not using as much power if you're on, you know, medium to high relative to if you're on full-blown high. So you save battery power, too, with the rotary, which is just nice. Um, and much like its buddy, the, uh, the EDC executive, this light is absolutely bomb-proof. Uh, it's waterproof to 66 feet still. Uh, it feels really substantial, great threading, great knurling, great switch, lenses coated, turns very smoothly, fits nicely in the hand with this little pinch on there. You can get an 18650 tube for it if you'd like, and oh man, am I tempted sometimes. And you can lock the battery out pretty straightforwardly by uh, just twisting the, uh, giving a little twist to the barrel there. So that's your good. The interface is stellar. Um, the battery life is very good, particularly with the interface, and the construction is just great. Fits nicely, oh, it's just good. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of good here. Let's talk about the bad. Um, two bad things. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, crenellated tactical uh, strike bezel, by the way. Crenel as uh, the term for the little thing on the top of the castle. So crenellated literally means it looks like the top of a castle, which is fun. Um, and it, the other bad thing is that uh, it rolls a lot. There's no flat surface or anything. So if you put this down on a table or something like that, it's going to be rolling and keep rolling and rolling and rolling. It also doesn't tail stand that well because of the clicky switch, but it, you know, does okay. Um, what's the ugly? Sadly, there are some big uglies here. Okay, three big uglies here. First and foremost, it's huge for a CR123 light. I mean, absolutely huge. I talked about this for the EDC executive, but, uh, you know, compared to other CR123 lights, this is gigantic. 
and for this size and this weight, uh, you're looking very much at something like uh, uh, an 18650 light. They're very similar, but you get a lot more brightness and a little bit more battery life out of that. So that's ugly. This is really hard to carry um, just given the, the weight of it. Second, speaking of hard to carry, is that it doesn't come with a clip. Um, you can get a clip, but it's kind of an ugly solution in that it's a, a metal strap that goes around the top with a set screw that keeps it on there, and then a clip sticking down here. It's called their universal clip. And so when you turn the light, the clip stays in one position. It's fine, but it's separately available from HDS systems for 54 bucks more. And that leads to the final ugly is that with the clip, and you really do need a clip for this, you're looking at $330 for this light. It's $270 for the one, and it's, you know, 50 buck, uh, 55 bucks, 60 bucks with shipping for the damn clip. And that's a lot of money. 330 bucks. Wow. Um, you know, I spend more than that on knives on a regular basis, but, you know, whew, it still burns a little bit. Um, it's definitely better than the executive. Um, and this is only 250 bucks. So 250 and honestly, it's probably, you know, the equivalent. Uh, 80 bucks better than the executive, in my personal opinion. And it is really well built. And, you know, the rotary mechanism is so damn good. I mean, the light, this is a great light. And so this is probably worth it for a true flashlight nerd. If you really, really love lights, and then this is a great grail to have. It's really incredible. But it's really hard to swallow if you're just a random jackass who needs a flashlight sometimes. So that's your ugly. It's bigger than most CR123 lights. It doesn't come with a clip. And when you buy the damn clip, this is a $330 light. So yeah, there's your ugly. What's the final conclusion here? This is a very nice mixed bag. And what I mean by that is that it has a lot of really great stuff here. It's got a great interface, great battery life, great durability, and more than enough brightness for me. In that way, this is stellar, absolutely wonderful. But you pay for that with a huge size, a huge weight, and a huge price tag. 330 bucks, oh, that burns. And so for me, although it's a great light and I really like it a lot, I, I even say I love it, it's just not something I would EDC for the size, the weight, and the cost. And so this is a light that I just love as a loner. I am so happy that I got to play with one of these guys for a while. And, you know, it's one hell of a light. And if you've got a flashlight geek in your life and you're watching this video thinking, you know what, I know what I'm going to buy my geek, then do it. This is great. They're going to love it. But I don't know that I recommend it for just generally DC people uh, at that kind of a price point. If money means nothing to you and you just want a, and if weight means nothing to you for that matter, you just want a really good light, this is a great way to look. But it's kind of priced itself out of gem country. If they included a good clip at 270 bucks, I, I would gem the heck out of this. I would call it a gem, no problem at all. But as it stands at 330 bucks and with a slightly less than ideal clip, I think it's missed the mark. So I love this light a lot. It's a great, great light, and I want to recommend the heck out of it, but not quite. I hope this has been helpful, though. Uh, Jim, thank you for sending this along. Uh, I've never been so conflicted about a flashlight in my life. Most people don't get conflicted about flashlights, but I guess I'm a special man. Um, yeah, hope this has been interesting, that it lit up your life, and that you have yourself an absolutely wonderful rest of your day and of your night, because you got a flashlight. Bye now.